Hi, this is Wendy from Knitters Brewing, and I'm going to show you how to do the 2 by one crossed cables that are used in the cross-wired sock pattern. So uh, when you're going to do these crosses, you will find that the stitches that are being crossed over are the ones that have been slipped up from previous rows. So you're going to be crossing two long stitches over one short stitch, and you do it just the same way that you would any other cable. So uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the right cross. So we're going to be crossing these two blue ones over that pink one. And to do that, we're going to knit up to where the pattern says to, to this pink stitch. We're going to take it off, hold it in the back on a cable needle. Then we're going to knit the two blue stitches off the left needle. and then we'll knit the pink stitch off the cable needle. So now we have crossed the blue stitches over the pink one. Now I'll work my way over here and I'll show you the left cross stitch. I just really like the stripes in this pattern. Oops. Okay. Now we're going to cross these two blue ones over this next pink one. So this is the two by one left cross. So we're going to take the two blue ones off, hold them in front on a cable needle or double pointed needle, toothpick, anything you've got that you like to use as a cable needle will be fine. And now knit the two off the cable needle. And there we have them crossed to the left. Now I'm going to show you how to do the two by one crossed cables without a cable needle because I think this goes a little faster. So what you want to do is knit up to where you're going to do the cross and this is the two by one right cross. And what we're going to do is take the two blue ones, put them on the tip of your right needle and then pinch below the pink stitch that we're going to be crossing over because we're going to pull the needle out from through it and then take the needle around the back and stick it back into the pink stitch. So now you can see that we've crossed them. Now put the blue ones back over on the left needle and now we've changed the order of the three stitches and all we have to do is knit them. So it can be a little scary to pull the needle out on that one stitch, but it goes very quickly and, and it doesn't sneak away from you. All right, so there it is. Now let's do the other one, the two by one left cross. In this case, we're going to go around to the back and stick the needle through the pink stitch that's going to be crossed behind the two blue ones. Then we're gonna pinch off the two blue stitches in the front pull the needle out. Now stick the needle back in through them and you can see that we've crossed them. Now put the pink needle back over on the left or the pink stitch back over on the left and just knit the three stitches. And that gets you the same kind of cross only without using a cable needle. 